guys, Smooth Comic Vlogs here, changed the name. I'm back here to talk about comics versus manga again. I'm going to talk about one of the differences in character ages. Over in the East, they typically like younger characters. Goku, when he first started off, was a young protagonist. He was a little kid. And you look at characters like Naruto. You look at characters like Ichigo from Bleach. All of them are younger teenage protagonists. Shonen is mainly meant for teenagers. And in a weird way, a lot of people say, like when I was growing up, I used to say that, oh, anime is so much darker, so much edgier. Anime is actually intended for a younger audience than comic books. See, comic books typically aim at 20-year-olds. It's not just teens, it's 20-year-olds to 30-year-olds. So, and most of the main characters are older protagonists in their 20s to 30s. Superman, 20s to 30s. Batman, 20s to 30s. All of them are actually older protagonists. Wonder Woman, technically Wonder Woman's like 300, but visually she looks like she's about 27 or something. She looks like she's 27 at least. So in a weird way, comic books are actually hitting older audiences. That's something I didn't find out until far later in life. So... And a lot of this has to do with the culture of Japan. Over in Japan, the generation, there's this big issue of them not reproducing. I don't think, should I go into that? Uh, I, I don't think I should go into that. This just goes to show the difference between, uh, East, between East and West. Here in the West, we prefer older characters. And it doesn't just extend to comic books. Look at shows like... Remember the action cartoons? Most of those cartoons... Most of those were featuring older characters. Transformers. Octopus Prime is always predict, presented as an older man. I mean, he's not a man. He's a, he's a robot. You get my point. He's an older protagonist. And... This, this is a major culture thing. We in the West, we like to look up to characters. We want to look up to them. Over in the East, it, we want to relate to characters. But this, I did another video similar to this. There's two type of character. There's two type of heroes. There's the relatable hero and the inspirational hero. The relatable hero is like, is like Spider-Man. You relate to them. You kind of experience what they experience and then there's the inspirational hero like superman superman is not meant to be relatable he's meant to be someone you look up to that someone you want to be like but you're not and i guess to some extent there is some relatable because every character has to be relatable to some extent but y'all anyways y'all probably get my point If you over here in the West, we want characters we can look up to. We like that type, that archetype, the look up to archetype. Look at Captain America, older protagonist. The vast, uh, Doctor Strange, older protagonist. The vast majority of these guys are older protagonists. Black Widow, older protagonist. Bruce Banner, older protagonist. Hawkeye, older protagonist. The vast majority of these guys are older. Remember the Justice League? Mostly older protagonists. Now occasionally we have a, a few Spider-Mans running around. A few Blue Beetles running around. That are younger. Depending. Well depend on which version of Blue Beetle. You get my point. But the vast majority of these guys are older.
So, I'm confused to how this is going to work. When I finally get the full episode done, uh, I was going to release a full episode edited together. And then I was going to release a physical version that you can buy. Of course, because everyone wants a physical version. Oh no, that's bad. I was gonna do Alright, that's all for today. See you guys later.